Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Prepare yourself for one of the greatest slugfests of all times between two Referee bad motherfuckers. Ex-con Ron Lyle and ex-champion George Foreman prepared to battle to the death if necessary. They didn't wait at all. They jumped right into it at each other. And they went at it like two maniacs. Foreman was 15 months off the rumble in the jungle, lost to Ali. Some say he changed mentally. He was never the same. He was considered undestructible and unbeatable prior. So everybody wanted a piece of him now. It's one of the greatest slugfests of all times. Two colossal KO artists going at it to the end. To one man stands. Old Lyle caught Foreman in the first round and had him hurt. He was barely hanging off his life. You see George in trouble. A late. Second round had Foreman boxing, not scrapping. He was throwing jabs, setting up his punches. Lau was eating them all up. That could be a mistake, Kenny. The tide had turned. Now Lyle was hurting. And Foreman had him nap ready. But he hung in there. And got lucky because for some reason... The round ended at now, two minutes. Let's see if George has learned what to do with an opponent against the ropes. Certain it is, he didn't know what to do in Zaire. Look at that left of Foreman's get in there. And it's a different Lyle now. He's a little shaky. The leg's just a little rubbery. Foreman the third round was back and forth between the two monsters. No about that. Leading up into the fourth and fifth, tonight. which were I told you the we'd have a death rounds. Who will stand? It's like Empire King Kong versus there. Godzilla. If get off, it's got to be more aggressive. And kind of force the action. If he, if he gets Foreman punching room and punch that weight and utilizes power, then this is all in Foreman's favor. Fourth round had Lyle finally meeting with Foreman's head. Had him dazed until he went down. Lyle all over. Lyle has Foreman in trouble. Foreman is down. It started with a right, then a left. Foreman looking over here. Foreman had a little fear in his heart after that knockdown. But you know what? He believes in God. And he dug in. And he got back in the fight. Lyle putting on a tremendous demonstration. Well, in the 15 months since Zaire, he's been relatively Ford inactive. got up and fought Except back. Charade in Toronto against the frightful he box. ended up cold cocking on Lyle. Lyle sat down for a second. Oh, it was a back and forth trouble. battle, ladies and gentlemen. Lyle up and down. Bombs exploding everywhere. One thing is obvious that only one man was walking away from this one. What a magnificent right. George fought back. Lyle was... George with that punching power that we talked about in prior fights. Lyle is down. Oh, Lyle, Lyle was holding off for dear life. And he was still swinging for the fences. The rope. He is... Oh Lyle my goodness, this is back. unbelievable. Look at him, they're this swinging for the fences. Like Bob's and McGuire back in the home run race. Swinging back and forth, Old Lyle finally got Big George back on that canvas. He was literally face first down. trying to get up. It's amazing he did. Lyle fights back. Foreman has no saving by the bell, but Foreman is up. So Lyle's driving the car now, both going into the next round. We'll see what their corners did for him. I think Lyle has the middle edge right here. Oh, Foreman holding on for dear life. It's not looking too good, Big George. Oh my goodness, what a battle. And these guys left boxing out the door. He said, I'm going to buy it. It's a Friday night over at the local meat market. This is really a heavyweight fight, Howard. Total guts here and power. George got a series of left jabs in there, then a right. Right it's almost game over for one of these gentlemen. Foreman look at their legs, they're starting to look like Linguini. Who's going to give Lyle. in? Now it's Lyle! Now it's Lyle! What an incredible fight! Utterly without boxing skills! 
just punching away. Each fighter, in turn, leaving... Both men were willing to die in this fight. You could tell at all moments. The corners were trying to call it the foreman. He decided to call it over with and put Lyle down. Well, you and I both know that this man is not getting up to fight. He doesn't, but we do. And that was that. Foreman came back and he proved that he still was a monster. And he wanted to destroy. Both men were coming to an end of their careers. Well, Big George came back later. <laughs> 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 Coming back to win.